All right, so let's take a look at hypothesis testing. Uh, we're going to do for a proportion P, and this will be a left-tailed test. So let's look at our claim about P. So that would be H0 is our null hypothesis, and we're saying that P is equal to K. And we believe that should be P, not a mu. We believe P is less than the value stated in the null. So the alternate hypothesis would be P is less than Q. Okay, the P P is would be like a that's your percentage or you know what they state. So the standardized sample test statistic Z is P hat minus P over the square root of p times q over n, where p hat is r over n, and q hat is 1 minus p hat. Okay. So r is the number of successes, and n is the number of trials, and p equals proportion specified in h naught. That would be from up here. Okay. So, and the number of trials n should be sufficiently large so that both n times p hat is greater than 5 and n times q hat is greater than 5. Okay, so, and actually, actually, that is a typo there. That should be n times p, and this should be n times q. Okay. So n times p has to be greater than 5, and n times q is greater than 5. All right, so how to conclude the test using the p-value and level of significance alpha. The significance of alpha will be given to you. So if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and say the data are statistically significant at the level alpha. And if the p-value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at our example. It says, athletes at a certain university have a long-term graduation rate of 67%. Over the past several years, a random sample of 38 athletes at the school showed that 21 eventually graduated. Does this indicate that the population pr proportion of athletes who graduated from this university is now less than 67%. Use a 5% level of significance. Okay, so the 67%, that's the long-term rate. That's over years and years, okay? So, uh, more than past several years, okay? And but then over the past several years, so I guess the past two or three years, I don't know exactly how long they're talking about, but a random, they chose, they just sampled 38 athletes, and of those 38, 21 graduated. Okay, so let's state our null hypothesis. Okay, that's going to be P, they're making the claim that P is equal to the 67%. So that's 0.67. And we, we want to make the claim. We're saying, well, you know what? Based on what we've done here, the 38 athletes that we chose and 21 eventually graduated, well, we think that this should be a little less. So the alternate hypothesis, H sub 1, is less than... 0.67. Okay. Now let's look at uh, n times p, n times q. So n times p. Okay. So what is n times p? All right. So n times p is. Let's see. That's going to be the 0.67 times n, I'm sorry, well, I wrote them backwards, so n is 38, and p 
would be the 0.67. And that is equal to twenty five point four six which that's large that's larger than five and then I have n times q which is thirty eight times and remember q is one minus p so that's one minus point six seven which is point three three so that's times 0.33. So 38 times 0.33 is 12.54, which that is greater than 5 also. Okay, so we're good there. <clears throat> uh, now we need to find uh, p hat. Okay, well. First, let's write our formula. All right, so our formula would be Z, okay, this is our test statistic, would be P hat minus P over the square root of P times Q over N, okay? So <coughs> P hat, remember, that's R over N. Okay, so in this case, the R, well, that's the number of successes. Well, 21 eventually graduated. So 21 is the number of successes over the number of total athletes that were selected. So that's over 38. So 21 over 38, that gives us point and I'm just going to round it to two decimal places just like they have you know just like I have two decimals here and then well I mean we know that P we did that up here is 0.67 Q we already calculated that and that's 0.33 and N is well we saw that N is 38 <laughs> so we just punch this into our formula so we get Z is P hat minus P over uh, the square root of P, which is 0 0.67, times Q, which is 0 0.33, over N, 38. And let's see what we get when we punch this into our calculator. All right, so I get negative 1.57, okay, after we punch it into our calculator. And so now, remember, this is a left-tailed test, okay? I'm wanting to know, see, our alternate is that P is less than 0.67. So if we look at that, we have, this would be our negative one point. Five, seven, and we're looking for this area to the left here. Okay, so remember this is a z-score, so <clears throat> my p-value is equal to, that would be the probability that z is less than negative 1.57. And so now what we do <clears throat> is we would have to go to our uh, standard normal curve and look up the negative 1.57 so let's see okay and we're on the so I'm looking for Z less than negative 1.57 that's what we're looking for so <clears throat> here we have let's see there's the negative 1.5 okay and I go over until I get to the 7 here, this column. And I want this value here where they intersect. And we can see that is 0 .0582. 0 
So this would be 0 0.0582. All right, now what are we testing this against? Well, let's look. Use a 5% level of significance. So alpha is 0 0.0. Is point zero five, okay, and we can see that our p-value is greater than alpha, okay, because see alpha is point zero five, and this value is larger than that, so we will fail to reject H naught, okay. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So, so what does that mean? Well, it means at the 5% level of significance, there is insufficient evidence to say that the proportion of athletes who graduate from this certain college is less than 67%. Okay. So we can't... So you know, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we don't have enough evidence to say that, no, the graduation rate is lower. We can't say that, okay? And that's based, based on what we calculated here, okay? All right, so I hope that helped. Uh, I've got other videos on hypothesis testing. I have where uh, testing it against the mean, where sigma's known, sigma's unknown. <clears throat> I got left tail, right tail, two tail, doing all those videos on these. So check those out if you need to, and hope this helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.